Welcome to another episode of Titan PI TV. We're looking at the inside workings of a live operational investigation agency, that being here, Titan, in Derby. Welcome to another episode. I am Simon Henson, your host and managing director of Titan Private Investigation Limited. So in these short episodes, we want to be informative. We are asking or answering questions which we've been asked to cover or areas we've been asked to cover. And this short episode is around physical penetration testing, an area which makes some people giggle. However, it's a very serious area of our work and it is around penetrating a business or ambushing to be able to get in to get information. So when we talk about penetration testing, there are a number of teaming, we call it. So there's red teaming, blue teaming, purple teaming and black teaming. Red teaming, for example, is an objective led cyber attack. So it's trying to penetrate cyber, so computers and networks. Um, blue is when uh, a team works in um, against red to be able to stop that attack. But we're going to be looking at black today, which is looking at physical penetration testing. So when we do physical penetration testing, we look at six areas. These six areas are information gathering, threat modeling, vulnerability analysis, exploitation, post exploitation and reporting and if we don't get the results we want we can go around that process all over again so let's look at the first one first so we're looking at information gathering phase this is also known as the passive reconnaissance so this is what arguably one of the most important areas or phases when we are doing a penetration test and it consists of google records to identify target surroundings and environment but effectively getting as much information as we can through open source, which is available around that company. So the second phase is threat modeling. This is where we're looking at the target, the premise, the company, specifics about its environment and its people. So we're going to be looking at information around company websites. We're going to be looking at job boards. We're going to be looking at social media. We're going to be looking at company's house, and we're going to be looking or trying to find blueprints of that building. This is all valuable information in the planning stages. Third phase, vulnerability analysis, or could be called active reconnaissance. This is where we're gathering gathering information offline. It's about potentially telephoning, emailing, direct inquiries. It's about covert observations. So let's cover covert observations initially. We will be deploying the amount of operatives that we need. It might just be two, it might be three for five hours to monitor that premise, that building, that target address. We're going to be looking at things like when are deliveries, are staff using fobs to get in and out, have they got lanyards, do they have any sort of ID pass, security protocols, so is there overt and covert security. As part of the vulnerability analysis, we're going to be doing attack planning. So we usually look at how we can attack that premise covertly and overtly. So it might be, for example, an overt one would be human nature, following someone very closely through a turnstile. When you get to that fobbed door, as long as we've got a lanyard, which has got an ID tag the same colour, that colleague stroke person who works at that location may keep the door open for you. Human nature. We would also look at a covert method. So it might be that there's a number of deliveries. So we might dress up as a courier and see if we are given access just to sign in and walk where we want. So that would be the attack planning stage. Fourth area, exploitation. So we've done stages one, two and three, which is all research based, covert OBS, online, open resource, etc. Stage four, the exploitation is the attack, the ambush, the penetration. This is when all that planning is put into practice and we try and penetrate that building. Phase five, post exploitation, effectively debrief. How did we get on? How did we not get on? What we would do differently? Let's start thinking about how we're gonna relay this back. We're debriefing what imagery we've got. We're debriefing where we were able to put red flags, what areas we were able to get to or were able to get to. Did we have 
uh, any contact with staff and how, how, how was that contact? Did we get through on the overt with human nature, holding that door open? So we're debriefing everything that's happened and downloading all imagery off covert devices. And then phase six, report writing. Let's get that report written. A report with images taken for the surveillance footage, documenting everywhere we've been, everything, what, everything we've done and how we've managed it or not. And we're also in the report writing stage, have an area of recommendations, how you could stop us getting in with the various overt and covert attacks or techniques that we've put in place. A really vital put tool, particularly for businesses that work in sensitive areas, those areas which have to be GDPR compliant, which is pretty much every business. But if you have to be heavily compliant because of the amount of data you hold, personal information, then physical penetration testing is certainly one for you. And we recommend you do it twice a year. So that's another episode of Titan PI TV. As always, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss further episodes. Thank you for listening.